In this video, I'm going to give an overview of how to fit a two and a half inch internal hard drive. In this case, a 500 gig hard drive, although you could fit a terabyte, I suppose, is the other one, the main one, uh, and uh, into your Technomate uh, 3T Nano. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is um, we're going to look at what comes in the accessories. We have four screws here, which we can use for adding in this hard drive, and we have a SATA cable, which once again came as an accessory with the main box. So the box, remember, is PVR ready. The reason that you want to add the hard drive is twofold. Number one is you want to be able to obviously use all the great features to be able to record series links, all the different things it's possible to do with this box. But the other thing well, as well is you want to risk the chance of corrupting your cache, we'll say, with 70 EPG information. So you could do that via an ES or a USB key, but having an internal hard drive is, is a, a cooler way again. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to turn this unit around. And after using a Phillips screwdriver, and I've removed four screws here, or three screws, here, here, and here. And it just allows me to slide off the back unit here. Uh, an unusual feature of this is, although I suppose it's good design in some ways, is that the fan, which you can see here, is right in the center, so it's right over the processor. So rather than having it at the side where it would traditionally be, uh, Technomate have re-engineered it. And a lot of um, competing companies are using um, similar chassis, but so this is obviously an innovation Technomate have come up with, and obviously it does make sense. Now the one thing I'm going to do here is though, what I'm going to do at this point is, I'm just going to remove the lead that's bringing power to the fan, simply because it'll make this operation, in terms of the demonstration, much easier. But it's very important if you do make the decision to remove the fan, that you plug it back in afterwards, otherwise your processor might overheat, okay? So what we have inside is, we have a chassis for holding the hard drive, and you can see it here, okay? And then, when we fit in our hard drive, what, uh, what we'll need to do is take out this chassis, mount the four screws to hold the hard drive in place, which come in this little bag, and then what we'll do is we will connect um, the SATA cable onto the hard drive and into the following two ports. The data connection is here and the power connection for the SATA cable is down here. Okay. So what I've done already is I've used the Phillips screwdriver to remove four screws here, here, and the same on the far side underneath my fingers. And these are the four silver screws I have just to the side here. And this has allowed me to actually remove the chassis, which I'm going to do at this point in time. So I'll just remove it to this point. I'm just going to leave this, move this out of the way for a moment. What I'll do is here, I'm going to just pick up the hard drive. And what, what we'll notice here is on both sides, we have a total of two screw holes here, which exactly match with holes in the side of the chassis and the same on the far side. So what we do is we'll drop this into position like this. It's important that this the SATA connections are on this side because it'll make wiring it so, just so much easier. And what we'll do is then we'll take the four screws from here and I just screw them in here. So rather than making the film long and laborious, I'm not going to bother doing it. But you can see the logic here where we'll just line these up perfectly here. I'll just line them here. And we'll see here that we have it just perfect there. So it'll just be a matter of putting in, using the Phillips screwdriver to screw and lock this in. So at that point in time, what I do is I come along, before I actually insert this back in, what I do is I come along and I'm going to grab the static connection here. So both the power and data are on a single cable here, which just makes the fitting of it a little bit easier. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slide it on here. And you can see it clicks in neatly like that. So we'll imagine here that the hard drive is securely screwed in at this point. And I can just come back along and I can just drop this back into the chassis and I just screw it back into position as we need. Needless to say, during this whole exercise, we don't have this unit plugged in, okay, right? But I'm taking that as a, for, as a given. And uh, what we're going to do here is we'll just connect on the, the data connection here. And now what we'll do is we'll just grab the power connection, and it's going to be where I pointed earlier. I'm going to tip this up in a moment so we can see exactly how I've done this. So I'm just going to tilt it forward here. So now what we have is the hard drive added into the box. And um, what we would do is uh, we would simply, we'd obviously have all the screws put back in to hold the chassis into position. And what we'll do then on top of that is we would put the, 
uh, reconnect the fan, put the cover back on, and then in the next video, when you see us, we'll be just showing what the display will be like when we actually come along and turn this on and do the original format and pick up on it. So that's it anyway, how to physically install a 2.5 inch internal drive into your Technomate Nano 3T.